Hello and welcome. Let's talk about Flatus tube in detailed approach. So, what is a Flatus tube? A Flatus tube, also known as a rectal tube or a rectal catheter, is a medical device that is inserted into the rectum for the purpose of draining gas or feces. It is commonly used in patients who are unable to pass gas or feces on their own, such as those who have undergone surgery or have a bowel obstruction. The tube is inserted through the anus and advanced into the rectum where it can be used to evacuate gas or feces. Flatus tubes are typically used in a hospital or clinical setting and are typically removed once the patient is able to pass gas or feces on their own. Now, the other names of flatus tube are rectus tube and colon tube. Now, parts of a flatus tube. A flatus tube typically consists of following parts. Tube. This is the main body of the device which is inserted into the rectum. The tube is usually made of a flexible, medical grade plastic or rubber material. Now fitting. This is the end of the tube that is inserted into the anus. It is usually flared or flared and closed to help prevent the tube from falling out. Now bulb. Some flutters tube have a bulb at the end of the tube that can be opened and closed to allow gas or feces to be expelled. Collection bag. Some flutters tubes come with a collection bag that can be attached to the end of the tube to collect any gas or feces that is expelled. Lubricant. Some flutters tube come with a lubricant to make insertion easier and more comfortable. Inflation bulb. Some flutters tube have an inflation bulb at the end of the tube that can be squeezed to inflate a balloon inside the tube. This helps to keep the tube in place and prevent it from falling out. Markings. Flutters tube may have markings along their length to help with insertion and placement. Now, the length and size available in the market includes 22, 24, 26, 50, 75 centimeter, like this. And on the side is a picture of a flutters tube available in the market. Now, uses of a flutters tube. Flutters tubes are typically used in patients who are unable to pass gas or feces on their own due to a medical condition or following a surgical procedure. Now some common uses of flatus tube includes like evacuating gas or feces. Flatus tubes can be used to evacuate gas or feces that are built up in the rectum which can help to relieve discomfort and prevent further complications. Relieving constipation. Flatus tubes can be used to relieve constipation by removing gas or feces from the rectum. Monitoring bowel function. Flutter tubes can be used to monitor bowel function in patients who are unable to pass gas or feces on their own. The amount and consistency of gas or feces that is expelled can provide important information about the patient's bowel function. Treating bowel obstructions. Flutter tubes can be used to treat bowel obstruction by removing gas or feces from the rectum and relieving pressure on the obstruction. Administering medications. Flutter tubes can be used to administer Medications directly into the rectum, which can be an effective way to deliver certain types of medication to the body. Providing comfort. Flatus tubes can be used to provide comfort to the patients who are unable to pass gas or feces on their own by relieving discomfort and improving bowel function. Now, complications of using a flatus tube. Like any medical procedure, the use of a flatus tube carries a risk of complication. Some potential complications of using a flatus tube include infection. There is a risk of infection when a flatus tube is inserted to the rectum, particularly if the area is not properly cleaned or if the tube is not properly sterilized. The bleeding. Insertion of a flatus tube may cause bleeding, particularly if the tube is inserted too far or if the patient has a bleeding disorder. Now, damage to the rectum may occur if the flatus tube is inserted too far or if they are inserted improperly. Allergic reactions. Some patients may have an allergic reaction to the material used to make the flatus tube or to the lubricant used during the insertion. Discomfort. Flatus tube may cause discomfort during and after insertion, particularly if the patient is experiencing constipation or other bowel issues. Now, what is the method of insertion of a flatus tube? The method of insertion for a flatus tube will depend on the specific type of tube being used and the patient's individual needs. In general, the following steps may be involved in inserting a flatus tube. Preparation. The patient will be positioned in a comfortable position, typically on their side with their knees bent. The area around the anus will be cleaned with a disinfectant solution to reduce the risk of infection. Lubrication. The fitting of the flatus tube may be lubricated to make insertion easier and more comfortable. 
insertion the flattest tube will be inserted into the anus and advanced into the rectum the tube may be inserted to a specific depth based on the patient's need and the type of tube being used inflation if the flattest tube has an inflation bulb it will be squeezed to inflate a balloon inside the tube this helps to keep the tube in place and prevent it from falling out attachment if the flattest tube has a collection bag it will be attached to the end of the tube the bag should be positioned below the level of the patient's anus to allow gravity to evacuate gas or feces now are there any alternatives to flattest tube in the market yes there are several alternatives to a flattest tube that may be used to evacuate gas or feces from the rectum or to relieve constipation some options include enema suppositories to softeners like tips and some diet and lifestyle changes which means increasing your intake of fiber and fruits and engaging in regular physical activity may help to relieve constipation and improve bowel function now contraindications of flattest tube there are several contraindications for use of flattest tube which are conditions or situations in which the use of the flattest tube is not recommended now some potential contraindications include rectal bleeding rectal inflammation or infection anal structures severe rectal pain and allergic reaction if the patient has an allergic reaction to the material used or make the flattest tube or to lubricant used during the insertion the use of the flattest tube may not be recommended end of the topic